Well, then my clippers packed up. So I was wondering... Hey, uh, there's a couple more bags outside. Can you grab them for us while I sort this lot out? OK. What are you doing? That's mine. I thought you said this was over with. Give it back. I said give it me back now. Me, no, not until you tell me the truth. Texts are from, what's her name, Lauren? No, there's others. Mates of hers. I thought that now school's over, it'd stop, but she just got worse. Why didn't you tell me it was still going on? Or at least tell someone? Like who? My mum. Don't you think I wanted to? But how could I with everything that she's been going through? Listen, Lauren and the rest of them, they're just spiteful, jealous little cows. Maybe. But at least they're not on their own. Oh, get off me and stop looking at me like that. Like what? Like I'm some sort of pathetic little child. That's not what I was thinking. Yes, it is. But do you know what? I don't care anymore. Because you're right, I am pathetic. I'm just a stupid, useless, fat, ugly crybaby. <laughs> Nothing seemed bad right now, but stuff Lauren and the rest of them. You've done your exams now, and once you get your results, you won't have to go back there ever again. Not if you don't want to. You could go to college or even get a... No, I can't. Why not? Because I messed them up. My exams, all of them. I thought you'd been working really hard. I tried, but I just couldn't concentrate, not with everything that's been going on. I ended up walking out of my last one. I told Gran what had happened and she... Hang on a minute. Gail knows. Yeah, but I made a promise not to say anything. Not to you or David and definitely not my mum. <sighs> Bethany, I'm, I'm sorry. I really am. Why? It's not like it's your fault. Anyone home? In here. No interruption, anything, am I? No. I'm just chatting. Just of all the shopping bags. I just bought some new things for the room. I was meant to be taking stuff back. Yeah, I did, and then I saw some more stuff. You got a problem with that? No, of course not, dearest, but now that you've finished emptying half of Manchester's department stores, how do you fancy picking up the sprogs? I can pick them up for you. You don't have to do that. I know. I want to. Who'd have thought that, eh? Two uses for her in one day. All right, I'm going to show her. If you're trying to avoid me, it's not going to work. I'm not, but this is my problem. I'll deal with it. How are you going to do that? I don't know. 